What's up, ladies and gentlemen? We are here in the building, O'Connor's Irish Pub. Another exciting week of the Wildcat Way series. And uh, this is playoff mode, Jim Morris style. And uh, as usual, the Wildcats are off and running <laughs> in the playoffs with, uh, with a big win last week. Uh, today, we got a special guest in the building. This guy's one of the top receivers, two way players in the state. And uh, in Hollywood at that, we got Miss Duncan Bradley in the building. Good to, have, good to see you here. All right. All right, Coach, um, how we feeling, man? We know it's uh, – you know, how, how we feeling this week? Feeling good, man. Feeling good. <laughs> got our uh, – got a game back, and we moving on. All right. Um, now, uh, we got a lot to talk about here. Um, as you guys, we're going to talk about the big win that you guys had um, against Wayne in the first round of the OHSA playoffs. Um, recap that a little bit, then we'll go through the tournament, talk – um, and see who your next opponent is. Uh, then we're talking about what's going on with you and more and then the hot five topics. No, 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 you, you got it, Coach. I'm going to go ahead and pass it back and forth. But uh, how's life treating you right now? Uh, everything good. Um, just going through, getting another opportunity to uh, play another week of high school football is a blessing. And just to continue to play with my brothers. Now, uh, Coach, um, number first, uh, <laughs> How, how your feet feeling, man? How's your feet? Are they okay? Are you having any problems or anything? Okay, all right. If you are, make sure you go to Richmond Foot and Ankle Clinic. All right, special thanks to Dr. Richmond for sponsoring the show each and every week. Thank you, uh, 937-228-3668-1323, West 3rd Street. Uh, shout out to Dr. Richmond, all right? Uh, coach, um, when we come back, we're going to get into the nitty-gritty as far as with last game, uh, and then we'll talk about the keys to the next game. All right, uh, Wildcat Way Series, don't go away. Playoff mode, we'll be back in a moment. Hollywood. Hollywood, done. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I got a chip on my shoulder. All right, welcome back here, O'Connor's Irish Pub and Grill. Um, it is playoff mode. It got cold outside within a week. It was outside last week, and now we inside this week, Coach. T-shirts last week. <laughs> we was in T-shirt. <laughs> I was in summer like I was on the beach because I knew it was the last time, Coach. I knew it was the last time, and here we are inside, and we got uh, one of your players. Talk about Hollywood for a minute. First of all, I want to congratulate Duncan on being named first team all G Walk at wide receiver. He's a valuable part to our team. He's, he's played corner. He started corner two games, but he started at wide receiver every game. And he's on the punt team. He's the, the whole guy for the PATs. He's the personal protector on the punt team. He's just a valuable piece of our offense and our, our team in general. Now, how has um, playing for Coach Doug taught you about, uh, you know, just being a leader? Uh, he taught me a lot. Uh, he had all my older brothers and, you know, when I was in middle school, they always let me know, like, like it's, it's different. And my first, my first time on the high school field, I seen it. And understanding Coach Doug, him just throughout the week, how he changes. And I just got the utmost respect for him, how he treats all of, all of us on the team. And uh, he supports our system. Uh, was Hollywood mode for you last game? Uh, you had a touchdown. You know what I'm saying? A big comeback victory over Wayne. Uh, as we were talking about last week, the game of the year in the regular season, but in the playoffs, it was a completely different game. Coach, talk about the game a little bit for us. Well, the first game was a comeback. This game, we jumped up on them. Uh, we jumped out on them real quick. I think both of us shared a series where we went three and out, or maybe we might have got one first down. They didn't get any, they had to punt. Then we ended up getting the ball back, the second series, and we went down and drove the ball down. I think we were like 78-yard drive or something like that. We went down and scored, running and passing that. And um, we just did a great job, man, early. And we got him behind the eight ball. And uh, once we got got him behind a little bit, we knew we could stop. If we could stop the run, we would be okay with him. We stopped the quarterback and held him to three to th three or 16. Wow. So, and he was the leading passer in the court in the conference got to remake that because sometimes people don't remember that wow. people was the number one quarterback in the conference yeah and, uh, 
303 of 16. Three of 16. That's just incredible numbers defensively. Um, and then you had, you had 217 rushing yards. Add that, two touchdowns. Brent Upshaw, his best game of the season. Um, I, I felt like overall when the chips are down, um, I just felt like he brung the most. Um, and he was, he was able to play just – um, without, you know, kind of injury free, even though he was, you know, might still be banged up a little bit. I know it's the end of the season, but he played freely. I thought he played at his maximum potential uh, and helped you guys get to the next level. I think that wasn't his best game to me. I think it's the first game was his best game. I think this game, he, he just did what he had to do to, to lead our offense. What we asked him to do, he was able to do. I think he only had two incompletions. He had two touchdowns, uh, passes. But he was, uh, I think he cut, I think he only had like 100 yards, 101 yards or somewhere around there, but he was efficient in what we needed him to do. No question about that. I, I'll take that back. I didn't see that first game, so I know he was dynamic. Um, but for you, um, let's go to Dunk real quick. Um, how, you know, was this your almost complete game of the season? Um, it was just that y'all just starting to get on the roll. Uh, I'll say as a whole, it was probably one of the, one of them games that we were all complete. We were all on the same level, um, intensity wise, and just coming out and playing, doing everybody doing their assignment. So it really was a, full, uh, you know, a showcase of what the cats can do at full potential. Yeah, yes, sir. Right. Now, coach, um, you know, we have to go through some of the other uh, some of the other games here. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. Yes, sir. Uh, Centerville twenty three, Olentangy Orange six. Uh, the Elks doing what they do, defensively stifling, and uh, it will be a rematch between you guys. Uh, next week, you ready for this? Yeah, for sure. Uh, no, you are, no, you was gonna say that. Dublin call from 14, Fairmont seven. Fairmont's out, but it's a good season for Fairmont, and uh, we'll see what they can do next season. They ended up uh, well five and six on the season, but nevertheless, they got to the first round. Uh, Miamisburg 34, Delaware Hayes 14. Miamisburg is up there in the same kind of bracket with you guys, yeah. and uh, Preston Barr, I think he's back. Mm -hmm. And uh, they, uh, you know, they're looking pretty good to beat a Delaware Harris team. Northmont 35, Fairborn 0. Uh, so, good season for Fairborn, uh, but Northmont continues their, role, uh, their move. And then uh, Spring Girls ousted 35-13, St. X with the win. And uh, it'll be a battle with St. X and one of their rivals in that next round. Um, you guys are taking on Centerville. Um, but, until, but before we get to that one, let's go to the other – games as well in the city league um we're gonna not come to that yet uh we'll go nbl tip 49 western brown 20 uh they move on troy 20 uh 26 Stebbins seven um as Stebbins season is over it was a decent season for bonifay but uh troy moves on number one team we talked about them coach a little bit lima senior knocks off Zinia, ends their season 42 to 32 uh, just didn't go. It's the second consecutive year they lost in the first round, unfortunately. But yeah. uh, it was a good, you know, good year for Zinia. Not great like last year, but that happens as, as we know, right? Yeah, sometimes it happens like that. It happens like that. Harrison, 51, Sydney, 6. Sydney season's over. Uh, it was a decent season for them. Butler, 17. Elida, nothing. Butler's moving on. No question the surprise of the Miami Valley right now, Coach. Yeah, Butler's been a great surprise. Coaching the staff has done a great job over there this season. They have made uh, lots of plays offensively and defensively. Congratulations to Butler Aviators. And the GCL real quick, Baden 41, Goshen nothing. Baden, we know what they do. Uh, they've been up there for the last couple of years. Uh, we know what time it is with them. Chaminade 28, healthy tw uh, Chaminade 35, healthy 28, Alter 42, Bacon nothing. They both got they both got through, Coach. Yeah. They it's a good weekend <laughs> for them guys down there, man, in the GCL for the Dayton team. Yeah, it was a, it was a good one. And then uh, McNicholas beating Eaton, Eaton and uh, Carroll, uh, G Money. Oh, G they didn't Money, play. G they Money, didn't, G Money play. didn't play. Oh, they didn't. Oh, my bad. G Money. <laughs> they didn't play. Okay, last gotta but not better, least. Baby, gotta do better. Gotta do better. Last but not least, City League plus Trotwood. Trotwood with a big win over Oakwood. Coach, you talked about it. They looked pretty sharp out there uh, with uh, with their top quarterback throwing a touchdown the last play of the half, giving them a 21 lead, and they never looked back 42 to nothing, Coach. Yeah, the Rams look like there's – they're in for a move, man, for a playoff run, a deep run in this thing. I think they had a, it's a lineup, I think, this week. Yes. And um, they'll be ready and up to the challenge. That's uh, going to be a good one. And, uh, and then 
Last but not least, uh, it was a good season for Dunbar. They went seven and three. Unfortunately, Clint Massey too much for him. Uh, um, congratulations, Cole Lack and the squad. It was a good season. City League champs once again. Congrats, Coach Lack. All right. With that being said, now we turn our attention towards Centerville. I mean, for the last years, you know, it's been y'all and then it's been Centerville. Um, we're going to start with uh, Hollywood. Uh, what do you think will be some of the keys uh, for you guys to get that W this week, man? Uh, I think it's just being physical, master physicality, um, come out, uh, the snap of the ball, and, and win them battles up front. All right, Coach, we know what time it is with them. It's going to be a battle. Uh, we played them earlier in the season. Was up 16-7. to seven. So we go into halftime. What's the conversation like, Coach? Just making the adjustments that we need to make offensively and defensively. Um, they came out. They made some good adjustments. They really didn't make any adjustments. They ran the same thing they've been running all year. But what they did is their their key players made plays that they needed to make. Their seniors made plays. Number one, Ross came out on the second play of the, of the second half and got an interception. Ross Coppock, he's touchdown. one of the top guys in the and, defensively. And, He's a, he's a great ball player, and that, and that got the little momentum going for him. Yeah. So then after that, the next drive they have, have a short field. We had a short punt. They get the ball on, I think, the 34-yard line. They kick a field goal. Now it's – Seven, they're up one. Yep. They up. They up. You know what I mean? So <laughs> wow. Against us. Then they end up getting a little drive yes. later. And, uh, and that's how the momentum worked for them. Now, uh, Hollywood, when you're out there – now, you we were playing defense this game? Uh, yeah, a little bit of the third and the whole fourth. Okay, so okay, you come out of halftime. You're like, oh, we about to about to finish them off. And next thing you know, boom, they're up one. Can you, is there? Do you feel it out there? You know what I mean? How do, and then how how do you get the momentum back? Um, I mean, while we were out there, it was just keep fighting, keep fighting to the end. Uh, they had the momentum at the time, but I feel like us as a team, we kept fighting to the end. We just came up short. Um, now, simply put, what's it going to take to move on? I mean, we know what it's like with them. They're, you know, well coached, uh, you know, solid. They got D1 players as well. What's it going to take for you guys to get that W, man? Uh, again, just come out, come out, master physicality, and uh, don't worry about any extra talk or just play our game. Play Wildcat football. Coach? We got to win a turnover battle. We got to win first and second down to get us in. Short when we're on offense, get us in short, uh, manageable third down situations, which allow us to continue drives. Uh, we got to maximize every drive. I think that that first game, I think we had the ball inside our 40 yard line like four times, three or four times, and we didn't get any points out of it. And we can't do that. And uh, just be consistent on all sides of the ball, all three phases. Complement each other like we did last week, mm -hmm. and I think that was the first, like like we talked about earlier, that was our first time playing complementary ball in all three phases for our team, right. and we just rubbed each other's back and we just fed off each other, and all we got to right. have that same type of effort on Friday. It's gonna be a good one, man. Everybody, we know what time it is. You know, all of Ohio will be watching for sure, uh, but we will be come back with Hollywood dunk a little bit more in the hard five Wildcat Way series. Don't go away. individuals with diabetes should see a podiatrist every year. Contact Richmond Foot and Ankle Clinic today to schedule your next appointment. Diabetes Dayton is dedicated to the support of individuals living with diabetes. Services include a free diabetic supply pantry, emergency insulin program, free education classes, and much more. If you are living with diabetes or pre-diabetic, contact us today to see which services you qualify for. Until there's a cure, we help you live. All right, what's up? We're back. Wildcat Way Series playoff mode, OHSAA coverage each and every week. Um, and these guys are once again in the thick of it as they are each and every year. Um, I'm here with Coach Doug and Hollywood Dunk. 
Mr. Bradley uh, in the building. How we feeling, man? Feeling good. Feeling real good. All right, now it's been a good season for you. Congratulations, like Coach said, first team all G Walk. What's that mean to you? Uh, it means everything. Um, it, it mean it allows me to respect my grind and stuff that I had on the off season. And but we're not done yet. Love it, love it, love it. Um, have you committed yet? Looking at offers. Um, for you, is there? Uh, I know you know you're in season, so you kind of like the focus. Is that your thing? Uh, yeah, I ain't really been. Um, I haven't really been too much into it yet. Just focusing on the season and trying to finish strong. You got anything for him? We got some opportunities that are going to be before him, and I think we'll have into more, even more as we finish this thing up here. Eight or nine, man. That's pretty good, man. That's pretty good. Got, got to pretty good. Yeah, for sure. No matter what happens, you know, once your run is done, that you can go back and be like, all right, you know, I put the work in. How does that feel? Uh, it's a blessing. It's a blessing to know I got an opportunity to continue to play a sport I love that, um, and just follow my dream. Now, where did the Hollywood come from, man? Uh, it came freshman year. Um, some of my parents just started calling me. Uh, I wear glasses a lot, so. No, no. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, hey, Hollywood. Look, Hollywood. Look, <laughs> look at it. This is what look Hollywood looks like. Right <laughs> this here. is what Hollywood looks like. Don't get it twisted. Hollywood, <laughs> quit playing with us, man. Get this boy in a movie or something. Get this right? boy on the screen. Y'all oh, can't even see that. Man. Pretty boy, pretty boy swag, everything. Got the books, he got it all. Um, you know what you're gonna study when you get to college yet, or are you still undecided? Uh still undecided, but I have a couple ideas. Um, for you, What's it been playing like under this regime of Coach Doug and this Wildcat tradition, man? How's it been for you for these last four years? It's been a blessing. Uh, just knowing our history and uh, where Wildcat football has, has came to and the goals that we're trying to reach, it's, it's good. Any life lessons you learned on? Yeah, a lot a lot of life, uh, life lessons. I learned that football is about life. You learn life throughout playing football. Coach, man, uh, what's it been like with this kid and the Bradleys, man? Man, it's been a tremendous blessing, man. They have been a blessing for me since I got here, man. I think when I came, I think Dillion, the oldest one, I think he might have been in maybe like the fifth grade or something like that. So seeing all of them, they were all staggered. Seeing them come up through the Pee Wee program and then getting to have an opportunity to have them in middle school and then watching their work ethic. They have great parents. They they made some laid some great foundation for them. Wherever they decide to do, they're going to be successful at it because they've got that work ethic. Mm. Mom's a grinder, dad's a grinder, and their kids are grinders. All of them have been on National Honor Society. He's on National Honor Society. Got one brother at Harvard, another brother at Fair State, the Division One, Division Two, back-to-back -back national champs. And so, and he had like a 4.0. Ain't no, he got the lowest grade point at 3.9. Wow, so, wow. So it's a so competition, it's a, been, huh? it's a been a solid foundation that he's got laid. So Amazing stuff. How's it feel to have him? Like, oh, man. Like, um, yeah, uh, it's always been like that in the household. Um, parents not going for nothing, nothing less than that. Uh, yeah. That's it. That's it. The parents ain't going for nothing less. And uh, his you, mom, you I call her the today. enforcer. His mom is the enforcer. She's yeah. not having it. She is not She's having not it. Not. Not no games, and uh, it's trickle down effect. And congratulations. Uh, we know you'll be going somewhere uh, big time. Uh, Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? Now, let's get to our hot five, Coach. You know how we do this. Yes, sir. College real quickly, Prime, they took another one. And uh, Coach, he said we're getting rid of all the linemen. Should he have said that? or It was real. <laughs> he said he going to need linemen. He needs linemen. And they need linemen to keep him off, keep Shador up, upright, and uh, give him an opportunity to make some plays. You can't run the ball if you can't block. Right. You can't protect the runners. You can't open holes. How's your quarterback going to get any time? You don't. They pass us in every play, man. It's tough. Uh, would you go play for Prime? Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think uh, he's doing good up there, and he's just he's letting it know. He he tells the truth all the time. He's gonna let you know. It's a business. He's never personal. No, it ain't nothing no personal like gangster. Never nothing personal. Um, now, top five right now. If it, if we're going by the B, the BCS rankings, is Ohio State. But George is the one that's won about 20-something games in a row. But so who, who, and then Michigan's out here suiting up dudes in Eastern Michigan. Come on, to get, Come what? on, yeah. man. Come on, man. Don't be hey. Who is the best team in the country right now? 
I'm going with the, I'm going with Georgia. I'm gonna go with Georgia as well. I just feel like they haven't played I haven't played anybody yet, and they ain't played to their best ability. So Ohio State's up there, but y'all feel like Georgia's as well. Yeah. Ohio State is right there with them. Yeah, for sure. Offensively, Ohio and their defense is playing lights out this year, man. I give it up to coaching those guys, man. The defense is playing lights out ball for Ohio State. All right. Shout out to uh, Central State, third game in a row they won. Okay, CSU. Yeah. Yeah. Hold it down, keep it rolling, fellas. Ever since homecoming, they've been able to get it together. Cold states won three in a row, so congratulations, Central State. Keep doing your thing. UD, on the other hand, they took a tough one last week to uh, Mount Vernon, so um, we'll see what they can do right now. They're sitting at two and six. Keep working, Flyers, all right? Now, NFL, real quickly, uh, Eagles, Cowboys this week, uh, both teams with Ws. Uh, Joey Joey B looked pretty good, Coach. Um, but first, who we got? Eagles or the? Uh, I'm gonna go with the Eagles. I think they're the best. I think they're the best in the league right now. All right. Eagles got the best D line, but we're gonna see what they're gonna do on, on Sunday. We're gonna see what <laughs> happens on Sunday. Gonna be a good boys one. on Let's go. <laughs> it's gonna be a good one. Um, uh, the Bing, uh, the Bengals. Joe Burrow. He took took the Niners apart, and so much they didn't win and got Chase Young. Um, is Joey B back? I don't know. They looking like the who the, the best team is looking like. Browns blue one, and Ravens are six. And two. I say the Ravens. I think they. I think they pretty tough. I like Ravens. The Ravens. Ravens gonna be pretty tough out. They're gonna be a tough out. Right. But I like. I like the Bengals versus them. If Joey's healthy. Travis Kelsey goes to the World Series during uh, a couple days before practice, Coach. Because that's – I know that was typical in the league. Bro, he got a jet. He can do whatever he want. He got a Lear. He can fly. If I got it, I'm going to go. Yeah, for sure. It ain't nothing. It's a weekday, man. Mm -hmm. We good. We make it back for practice in the morning. He'll be back. Believe that. I mean, that happens all the time. Oh, yeah. They're going to they do what they want to do, man. But he had the low – He, you know, they had low scores. So then they get questioned, right? Right. Basically, okay. And you got Taylor Swift, bro. <laughs> Taylor. Man, she put him on the, whatever she wanted to. He got him uh, there. It's all good. Put a few million in his pocket. <laughs> That's <No>. good. <laughs> sure. Whatever the fine was, he got it paid off already. Yeah, I think that's paid off for sure. Um, any any games uh, that you looking to watch, Coach, this weekend? Um, Football wise, I know you got a lot of tape. Man, it's a lot of stuff going on, man. No, nah, but not not anybody. Just not watch anything a bunch special. Of them, just gonna Nothing make sure you check out. All right, son, uh, come shout, home out to, uh, shout out to uh, Dartmouth and Harvard. Uh, a yeah. couple of y'all. Got the know, Wildcats big out there. Yeah, big bro, yeah. Uh, and Brown Brown Washington. got that dub. They Man. got that dub. <laughs> they Harvard got, the, got that win. Oh, Harvard got the W. Yeah. Okay. What's it been like? I know you've been up there. What's it like, bro? Uh, it's light. It's, it's, it's very enjoyable. I see why he picked up there. Uh, it's nice. It's a great place to be. And, I mean, it's, a grab. it's Harvard. Great it's Harvard, choice. Dog. They got, <laughs> he said they got presidents there. It's Harvard. <laughs> we got whatever we need so, off the field. Everything up there for sure. That's awesome. Congratulations to them boys, man. Um, uh, um, World Series coach. Look like Texas is gone. It's going to stay they, in they, Texas. Is <laughs> what they hope, looking like. Sure. One right now. Uh, is it over? It, it might be over. <laughs> it might be over. They're going to they're going no, to they, Arizona. Uh, they got one home. more still at crib? Texas. Yeah, it's in Texas? Mm -hmm. yeah, it's think, over. I think it's over. It might be over. But Arizona had Garcia, a good they run. We'll see. It, they don't have Garcia. We'll see if they can yeah, we'll see if they can do anything. Um you know, it's last season, man. Give your shout outs and uh your message to the squad, man. Uh shout out coach Doug. You feel me appreciate him for the last four years. Give me the opportunity to play for the Springfield Wildcats. Shout out all my seniors. Uh, love y'all boys to death. We've been through, we've been through it all. Uh, and let's finish strong. Coach, man, you already know how we do this one. Yes, uh, sir. Friday Night Lights, it don't get no better than what it's going to be. Uh, in Centerville, Ohio, what's the message to uh, the community and to, you know, to your boys? Come out and support us on Friday night, man. We appreciate what y'all have done with us the last few years. Continue to stick with us. Thank you for sticking with us during a tough time this year. This year was a great year for us to learn how to handle adversity and how to be resilient. And I um, appreciate y'all coming out and, and not being so negative towards our team when we had the struggling moments. You're going to get some XP points this year for coaching, I mean, like on Madden, Coach. Because you, <laughs> you, you had to do some work this year, Coach. So, 
put another zero on that number. That's what I'm talking about. Put a zero on the back of that joint. Show me the money, baby. <laughs> Show me the money. <laughs> Jerry Maguire today. <laughs> Jerry Maguire. <laughs> Wire and Hollywood. Dunk. Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. So, yeah. NBA. You watching any NBA? Who you rocking with? Uh, I haven't really been watching anything, but shout out LeBron, man. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Um, and then on a on a sad note, uh, the legend Bobby Knight passes away. He was a legend coach. I mean, yeah, the infamous man. stole the chair and all types of other theatrics. But one of the great coaches of all time. He's one of the best coaches that you ever, that we ever had around that we were able to look at, man. Um, Unfortunate for him, he had some some ups and downs on and off the court, but he was a tremendous coach and guys loved to play for him. You know, you know what you were getting every day. I mean, I, I'm like, kind of like that rough guy. On Friday, yeah. I'm breaking during the week. We get to Thursday, and ain't playing no more. We get to Friday, it's all business. It's business, but it's all never business. personal. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I, I think Bobby was kind of like that as well. The guy, Coach MJ, in the, uh, you know, USA, uh, so definitely a great coach, and uh, he had his tactics, but you can't deny he's one of the greats. Uh, with that being said, uh, we're going to wrap it up. We'll be seeing these guys Friday night. Make sure you lock in with us each and every week. Wildcat Way Series, O'Connor's Irish Pub and Grill, man. Thanks, Hollywood. All right. Yes, there sir. Is, Thank you, Tina. Thanks again for letting us have it out here. Appreciate right, you. See you next week. G Money. Don't fuck up my vibe I've been trying to grow Lately I feel like they In a deep and wrong Can't knock my hustle no. My money first class no. Can't fuck my vibe Alright, wait Support a good cause Go Cats Okay Support the cause or Whatever, whatever I feel like in the moment. <laughs> All right, tell me when. Hi guys, I'm Lily. I'm Alexis. Come out to O'Connor's Tuesday nights for Wildcat Way TV show. Grab a drink. Get some dinner. Support the calls. Go, Go Cats! Cats. <laughs> oh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> I feel like that was pretty good. All right, what's up? We are here at SE Live 365 Springfield Wildcat Way Series, and I'm here with the one and only Coach Boo Coach. How are we doing, Coach? I'm good, man. How are you? Good to, good to have you here good once to see again. You. Yes, sir. Back. And that's a good sign. That means they took care of business in the playoffs. All right. Yep. Now, um, you have any feet problems, Coach? No, no, I'm not right for right now. Okay, he's good. But if he if he do have any, go to Dr. Richmond of Richmond Foot and Ankle Clinic, uh, 1323 West Third Street, 228 3668. Appreciate uh, you, Dr. Richmond, for coming through each and every week for us uh, with the show. Now, um, it was a scrappy affair, to say the least. It was. Yes, I it mean, was. You know, they're undefeated in their, in their half of the uh, – you know, they're coming in and – tight game early but you guys were able to find a way to put the ball in the end zone yep uh, in the second half the defense held they held serve you know giving up a touchdown but nothing else right and you guys came out with a gutty uh 14 to 7 victory talk about the game for us a little bit Cole. yeah we knew they were going to come in and they wanted to establish the line of scrimmage they were a good run team and so uh, i thought our defense played really well early on not giving up big plays yeah. um first drive we go down get a good field goal it was like six and a half minute drive for us so um you know, going in three nothing at halftime. In the third, we give up a big play, and uh, so we go down, going seven right into to the, three. Yeah, seven to three, and uh, get another field goal. So seven to six game, and uh, defense forced three fourth quarter picks. Wow, uh, we really got some pressure on that quarterback, and one of them led to a touchdown. Got the two point conversion to make it uh, fourteen to, to seven, oh, wow. and uh, we were able to. Um, really grind out the clock and got a pick there at the end to conceal the win and uh, you know survive in advance is kind of our one of the right best now. quarterbacks in the league. Yeah, like you said was yeah, the he was player, player of the year. Player of the year yep. and you get the first one and you're you know the, the crowd goes crazy. Yeah, that's right. And then you take the lead. No, you no you don't take the lead. Yeah, so it was up three nothing and then then we uh, go into halftime Stat, and they then, score. Right. And, and so now we're down, we get another field goal and okay. then it was in the fourth quarter. And we got then that that's touchdown. when it happened. Yep. Three back to back to back. Yep. 
what can you say about the defense? Well, you know, defense, you know, we we drilled them all week on a lot of formations to make sure our kids were going to get lined up and play in the right assignment. Yeah. And, um, you know, we really got some pressure there late in the game. And that that led to the first pick. Um, defensive end got, got great pressure on him. Garrett Chadwell, he's actually here tonight. Yeah. And um, – Led to a pick. We we got the ball down inside their territory, punched it in, and um, once our kids kind of felt that the momentum swung, you know they were kind of more like you know sharks blood in the water, and uh, really got after him there in that fourth quarter, and led to two other turnovers. So won the turnover battle for Friday night, which was big for us. Houseman with uh, 14 tackles. Um, he had an interception. He was all over the place. He was all over the place, and he's done that for us all year. Um, you know, he leads both sides of our conference in tackles as a sophomore. Wow. He's over 130 t- 30 tackles, and wow. um, you know, if you know him and you know his his mentality, and uh, you know, he's going to be a good player for us. But if if he's on the field, he's near the ball, and that's just kind of the way he plays. Incredible effort by the kid, by the sophomore, yeah. sensation, and uh, he's somebody you're going to have to watch out for for sure. Yes, Diesel Taylor also did a, did work on the other side. Yeah, talk about the Diesel for you. Yeah. Yeah, so Diesel's a big kid playing quarterback. Um, he He's a great – he's got a, a heck of an arm on him. And so we kind of went into this season thinking he was going to be more of a pocket passer. And the way he runs the ball was with a lot of violence. And so being 6'2", 205 as a sophomore, and uh, the way he runs, he's a big kid to bring down. And so we've really kind of allowed him – to take the reins in some of our run game stuff. And it balances us out because, you know, we can give certain formations where they think we're going to the strong side, then we'll pull some guys over and Diesel will keep it and run weak. And anytime we can get him one-on-one with a safety or a corner, that's, that, a that, that, that's a problem. That's, that's a, a problem. problem. So Nobody he, wants that. Yeah, and he, he's another sophomore, first-year starter for us. So, you know, we've got a lot of young kids that are playing big-time ball right now. That is awesome. And a uh, big, big win. And um, – we're looking forward to seeing what happens next. They got Waynesville next week. That's right. Yep, uh, down at their place. Um, Waynesville, they like to air it out. They were able to beat Valley View airing the ball out. Yes. What is it going to take for you guys to stop those guys? Yeah, I mean, really, if we take care of the ball and we can control the clock, I think our best um, our best, you know, idea or game plan kind of going into this is to keep their offense off the field. And right. if we can do that by getting first downs and extending drives, um, I think that's going to be the big benefit for us. So, you know, we, we played them last year. You know, that was our, our round one win right. uh, a year ago in the playoffs. So hopefully we have a little bit of an idea of what they're going to bring in. And, mm-hmm. um, you know, I can tell you as coaches, we've done a really good job this week kind of drilling them on, on what they've been successful for. But they've got a lot of athletes that, that if we don't manage the line of scrimmage and put some pressure on this kid at, uh, at quarterback, it could be another – it could be a long night for Alex Emberge doing his thing. He's been one of the top quarterbacks in this conference and uh, in the region. And uh, with Garrett Lundy running for 100 and a touchdown, they have a dynamic offense. They yeah. can go both ways. And the defense is not bad as well. Yeah. Uh, with a shutout uh, last week, uh, as Lundy did a lot of the heavy lifting on defense as well. Yeah. Um, coach, um, we're going to go into our hot five real quick. Okay. And then we'll come back with a couple final topics sure. uh, or questions about the game. Um, College football, uh, priming on, on a losing streak. He said we got to get rid of the offensive linemen. <laughs> Would you have did it that way, Coach, or maybe you did it another way? Well, you know, I, I coach high school football for a reason, and yeah. he's prime time for a reason. So okay. I'm definitely not going to question his mentality. But, you know, he's trying to turn around a program, and uh, he's trying to get new faces in that program, and, and he's got a, a method that he wants to, to try to, to instill in them kids. But, you know, I can tell you our, our lifeblood at the high school level is with our offensive line. So right. I try to pamper those guys as much as I can. Um Who's the best team in college right now? The, the the rankings say Ohio State. Yeah, I mean, you know, looking at it, I you know, last week I thought it was going to be Michigan going in. I still think that they're probably the, the more talented team. But yeah. Ohio State's resume, I mean, you, they're the only team with two top ten wins. So you, it's hard. The proof's in the pudding. Yeah. And uh, they've proven themselves, and they do have a championship-level defense, which is going to carry you a long way. It'll be interesting to see as we That's get right, through. That's right, a couple weeks. You got four or five, and then Alabama's trying to sneak back into the That's game. That's it. So it's going to be good. Uh, NFL, real quickly, Bengals, Burrow. Sticks it to the Niners. Boy, he's so finally much. healthy. You know, I think that's what a lot of people don't understand is when you get that calf injury, you know, it's, it's going to slow him down early on. But, yeah, they came out and played well this week. Defense played well, uh, yep. played good as well. And uh, they got a big win. Who's the best in that division? We talked about it once. You still feel the same way? I, I don't know. Cincinnati's kind of creeping up a little bit. So, I think, obviously, the Ravens are playing really well. Yeah. But uh, the way Cincinnati handled uh, the 49ers this weekend, it's tough to go against them right now. Uh, quarter, I mean, the coach for the Raiders, is he's done. He's done. And they brought in a new quarterback, Antonio Pierce, uh, head coach, Antonio 
Paul Pierce. Yep. You think, I mean, they have a lot of weapons out there. They Is that do. A good move or what? I mean, I think you got to make something move. I mean, at yeah. the end of the day, you didn't trade Devontae. He's yeah. going to be on the roster. You got yeah. the same guys. It's easier to replace coaches than it is players. And, uh, you know, I was just reading on the way over, they've, they're paying $80 million for Gruden and uh, the last guy to not wow. coach anymore. And so they've got a lot of money tied up into two guys to not be coaching wow, football. Wow, that is incredible. So I think they need to get their head coach stuff yeah, figured out. Davis, you got to do you got to do something better than them. Yep. Be for real, that's a lot of money cashing out for a coach that's not getting the job done. Uh, World Series, uh, Texans look like they're in control. Yeah. Can, can, they're down three to one. Can the Diamondbacks get back in it? I think so. I mean, they turned around and did it the the, the series before. They sure did. Um, and so I think that they can definitely come back and do it. They've got great young pitching over there, but it might be uh, Texas year. So might we'll be. We'll have to see what yeah, happens for sure. Um, last but not least, what's it going to take one more time to get get through Waynesville and uh, a message to the city and to the fans because yeah. you guys are on the road this week, right? That's right. Yeah, right. so we're on the road. So first thing we got to do is we got to come in and we got to establish our run game. Again, if we can control the line of scrimmage and be tough up front, um, I think good things are going to happen. We can't turn over the ball, but it's going to take, you know, we're Northeastern's a, a small village in the, um, you know, the corner of the county, and it's going to take every last one of them to be there on Friday night. So we hope to uh, bring a lot of Cardinal and gold with us and uh, make it a really good night for us. It's going to be, uh, it's going to be interesting to watch, Coach, and we're yes, sir. wishing you luck every step of the way. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Uh, as uh, the playoffs is here and the second round is upon us and we'll see what these what the squad can do here at Northeastern in the building. Appreciate you guys coming yes, in. Yes, sir. Thanks for having right. us, man. Now we got the squad coming here in a moment. Coach, go grab something to eat. Yes, sir. Uh, we got SC Live 365 Springfield Wildcat Way Series OHSA playoff mode. Don't go away. What's up? We're here at O'Connor's Irish Pub and Grill, OHSA playoff mode, uh, SC Live 365, uh, Springfield, okay? Um, and I have well, the one and only Northeastern football squad in the building. What's up? Yes, sir. Let's go, baby. Okay, now, uh, congratulations on a big win. Clap it up, man. Clap it up. Congratulations on a big win. How to um, introduce yourselves. We'll start once again. And uh, let's uh, go ahead. We'll start right here. Uh, my name is Carson Albright. I'm a senior, and I play right guard. Cody Lookaball, senior, and I play wide receiver and corner. Uh, Seth Rose, junior, wide receiver and corner. Brady Gillum, senior, left tackle, defensive end. Jonathan Guevara, senior, outside linebacker and tight end. Uh, Garrett Chadwell, uh, junior, outside linebacker and a wide receiver. I'm Johnny Jones. I'm a senior, and I'm a wide receiver and safety. All right, just hold on to it. Um, now. Big win uh, this weekend. It was a, a scrap, to say the least. Um, three to nothing at half. What's the mentality uh, in going into halftime? Now we know it was a tight game, but and then what did the coaches say to you guys? Honestly, it was it was tough going into the half like that. I mean, it was still like a zero-zero game, and the coaches just said that it's going to be an absolute dogfight, and we just got to stick with it. Just had to bring the intensity and win the half. Uh, you know. We had opportunities to score, we just didn't capitalize. So the main goal was just, you know, get the ball in the end zone. We're doing good on defense, just get the ball in the end zone. I mean, we just had to play good D, like, I mean, shoot, that's it. All right. yeah. uh, we just had to put pressure on the quarterback, you know, force him to throw the ball, and uh, that's what we ended up doing, and uh, get some turnovers. We just had to keep doing what we were doing on defense all night, getting stops, and eventually that led to turnovers and the, the three picks that we had. Yeah, I think just uh, keep on playing the same defense we had been, um, pick up the intensity, you know, it was 0-0 game going in the half, we had to come back out and finish our drives, really, as all was. Three interceptions in the last quarter, is that right? Yes, sir. Yep. What was the, I know the crowd was going crazy. Oh, yeah, they were going crazy, man. The one was on a, on a blown play, I mean, he should not have threw the ball, but it was crazy, man. The crowd, he, he just, we were on his face, and it was a bad throw. Pressure burst pipes, right? Yes, sir, absolutely. We were now, now we're facing Waynesville, right? Okay. Um, what's it going to take for you guys to, you know, to, to be able to handle Waynesville 
They have an aerial attack. They can run the ball as well. They'll be at home. What are you guys going to have to do to go in there and get a W? We just got to come out and be motivated, be, make sure that we go to the next week. And we just got to do our jobs. Shut them down in the pass and run game, and then just play perfect on offense. I mean, just keep doing what we're doing. Go out there and fight. Keep the same intensity we've been having the past couple games. And go 1-0. and uh, We got to be tough, man. We got to. We gotta hit them hard, and they're gonna be a good team. But we're a good, we're a good team too. So we just gotta hit, hit them. We gotta break them down all four quarters and be aggressive, and just keep doing what we do on defense. Uh, yeah, we just gotta come out and uh, set the tone right off the bat, and just uh, shut them down on defense. All right. Yeah, our coaches preached us all week that we're the tougher team. We gotta come out and show it. You know, just beat them all four quarters. Um, you know, uh, keep the mistakes to a minimum, and just do our jobs. All right, great stuff, great stuff. Now, the playoffs is unlike any other vibe. How did it feel to at least get that last game and get a W uh, walking off that field? Man, honestly, it hurt knowing that was the last game at Northeastern. But it also felt great to know that we're going to the next week. Like you said, it sucks being that was our last game there at the stadium, but it was awesome to get the last win there and just keep going. I'll never forget these seniors, man, like keeping that game going and playing one more game, bro. I mean, it was really bittersweet. Obviously, you want to win, but it just sucks knowing that you never get to play there again. But, you know, we keep moving. We keep moving. Like, like Brady said, um, bittersweet with that last game playing there all four years in middle school and elementary, but we, we move on. Yeah, it was bittersweet knowing it was the last game. I was really proud personally that, you know, we didn't lose our senior year in our home field. And, you know, it just felt good walking off with a win. Uh, it was just a great atmosphere. I mean, it was awesome. The crowd showed up like we were hoping, and it was, it was incredible. So, I mean, that, it, was, it was awesome. One word to describe uh, the mentality going into Friday. Angry. I think we won. Yeah, we, we want this. We want this bad, man, and we, we're going to get it. I don't have to agree with him. Angry. We need this one. I say fearless, man. Like, nobody wants this as hard as we want it right now. Intense. Um, I'd say tunnel vision. Tunnel vision on the win. Uh, probably aggressive. Set the tone. Uh, I'd say violence. You know, just gotta be, gotta be more angry than they are and be, uh, be tougher. Message to the fans. Uh, show up, baby. We need everybody. I know, it, I know it's far, but we're not gonna win if the fans don't show up. You know. We need y'all to show up and bring the intensity, and we'll get the job done. We really just need you guys to show up and come be behind us and support us. It's, I mean, it's what keeps us going. It's what gets us hype and stay in the game. You got to show up and be loud and be proud. Yeah, they all covered it. You just got to show up, show up. Yeah, really rally behind us. You know, we'll do our job. You guys do your job. Man, it's exciting, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, let's be real. You know, like not everybody gets to go to the next round. So um, for you guys to continue to do that, whether it's at home or on the road, just continue to work, elevate, listen to the coaches, and hopefully we can see you all next week. Now, real quickly, just yay, nay, or this or that. All right, I'm going to go through a hot five and just pick one or the other, all right? Um, is Burrow back, yes or no? Just just say it loud and proud. Is Burrow back, yes or no? No. Yes. No. 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 Hell no. Nah. No, no. <laughs> Who's the best team in the NFL? Uh, Eagles. 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 I'm agree, Eagles. Yeah, definitely the Eagles. I say Dolphins. No comment. <laughs> I'm saying the Eagles too. <laughs> Who's the best team in college? Tennessee. Go balls. Tennessee. Go balls. 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 I don't even Diamond know. I, I'm not a baseball. <laughs> I'm not, not even thinking about person. baseball. I, I going to do some homework, but I guess. I, I really couldn't nah. do less. Yep. Got to be a Diamondback. Y'all still, still going to Prime? Y'all still going to Colorado or what? We still going or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah no. We're going to Colorado. No, no, they they suck, my bro. Team. After they got all their stuff stolen, bro, I ain't going there. Man. Come on. Um, any shout-outs or anything, I'm going to give you all this chance right now to go ahead and give a shout-out or, you know, say whatever you want to say. Uh, Brady underscore Gillum on Instagram. Shout out yourself. Cody underscore look of all six, Instagram. Uh, Albright underscore Carson 87. Seth Rose underscore 501, Instagram. I'm gonna shout out my mom and my parents. Uh, shout out the student section. Shout out to the student section. You gotta show up this week. Make it deep. Shout <laughs> yeah. out the community, my mom and dad. Yeah, thanks for, uh, yeah, y'all understood, understood the assignment. These guys like, hey, follow your boy, follow your boy. 
Um, it's an honor to have you guys on, man, once again. Um, unfortunately, I won't be able to be at the game, but I'll be with you guys in spirit. And uh, we hopefully you can guys can get the W. You still will always be welcome no matter what happens. I wanted to say that. I didn't say it the last time. But no matter what, uh, we'll try to keep a uh, relationship with you guys. And uh, keep. Okay, let's get it done. Let's get it done. It's been a pleasure, though. It's been a pleasure. Northeastern, once again, on the show. These guys doing big things. And uh, Coach Bucos, hey, give a hey, round of applause for your coach, man. Round of applause. You made this happen. You made this happen. And we know, and there will be, we know the motivation will be there. There's no question about it. But uh, special thanks to my Coach Doug, Springfield, uh, and Hollywood Dunk for pulling up. And uh, special thanks to Northeastern uh, and Coach Bucos for pulling up as well. Special thanks to Dr. Richmond for sponsoring the show. And uh, Halloween vibes. Did y'all even dress up for Halloween, bro? My girlfriend was a cookie. All right, but um, with that being said, with that being said, we're gonna we're gonna uh, take you out here, at Springfield, Ohio, uh, O'Connor's Irish Pub and Grill, Limestone Street. Uh, we out, man. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, that's it. And they are just cannot put the ball in the basket. Behind the back, he puts it up. Oh! Oh! My beginnings was intense. Who'd have thought I'd go legit? For sure. Yeah. Yeah. We coming blacker than Black Panther 2. Nobody this thorough, that's the truth. Never go against the family, that's something you don't do. Don't get Eddie Kane trying to sing your way back in the group. Nah. Stars in the ceiling, got sun in the building. Rep that 718. It's hard to depart from that.